Hey, what's up, everyone? Thank you for tuning in to the podcast, and thanks to our sponsor, SS96. Still rocking with us in 2022, and it's so amazing. We appreciate you. SS96 is putting out new merch and still has some of your favorites. Get your executive productions t-shirts, Switch Masters t-shirts, as well as Farm Race Entertainment t-shirts. Don't forget to check out Straight Stoner's music, as well as my own release under executive productions. It's available on all streaming platforms, and new music is in the works, so stay tuned. Go to ss96.net and use the promo code SWITCHMASTERS to get this kind of merch today. Thank you all again. We're grateful. This involves the Rockets and the Washington Wizards announcer. So the Washington Wizards announcer, Glenn Conser, apologized Thursday for a reference to Houston Rockets player Kevin Porter Jr.'s father on Wednesday night's broadcast. Uh, a lot of y'all may be wondering, well, what do you apologize for? So this is a statement that he made. So what happened was Kevin Porter had a ball with like 0.4 seconds left. And he made a shot to beat the Wizards, 114 to 111. And after he made that shot, which is a dagger shot, was be crazy. Great buzzer beater. Uh, he made this comment. He says, you got to give credit. Kevin Porter Jr., like his dad, pulled that trigger right at the right time. If you don't know anything about Kevin Porter Jr., that comment was probably okay because he's probably he's, he's talking about the former Washington player. But Porter Spotter was reportedly pleaded guilty to manslaughter and the shooting death of a teenager in 1993. Conster said he mistakenly thought Porter was the son of former Washington player, Kevin Porter. So this is a statement when you apologize. He said, please allow me to take this opportunity to sincerely apologize to Kevin Porter Jr., his family, and the Rockets organization for the comments I made during last night's game. Uh, he said he reached out to Porter to apologize to him personally but you know, so yeah, it's a uh, and this is a bit, definitely unique a unique topic here because you have players coming out such as LeBron who spoke out against it. Um, James said, "We're in a profession where it's your job to do your due diligence. We got enough people out here that's giving false narratives and false statements." We got enough of that, but in our game, in our integrity in the NBA, the 30 teams, the beat writers, the players, the coaches, the play-by-play guy, it's our job to make sure we do our best to our ability to speak the facts. So that's what LeBron said. So your thoughts on this whole situation with the Washington Wizards announcer in a concert and his comments on Kevin Porter Jr.? Um... Hmm. I thought I knew what I was going to say, but yeah, just, just hearing it again. Um, I understand both sides of it. I can see the misconception. Um, you know, Kevin Porter Jr. playing in Washington, Kevin Porter Sr. or another Kevin Porter completely. Um, that you know that I, I can see where you could potentially make a connection but also as a professional as a and as an announcer um as a voice you 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 know you're in the you're working for the nba you're working for i think he's an nbc sports reporter uh or analyst yeah for uh he, he works for the washington was just broadcasting. So yeah, he's a play-by-play guy. Yeah. Um, as a professional, we look to these guys to bring just that professionalism, and and whatever you do, you should do it to the best of your ability. And that means for a play-by-play guy, um, NBA analyst or reporter you want to be able to have the correct facts 
And for this um, particular instance, it you should have done, he should have done the research before he, you know, made an assumption. Um, you never want to assume anything of anyone. And particularly in in our, you know, culture and our, in, in this league, being black, um, people are off, often, people are often looked at a certain way already. So for that comment to be made and, you know, you made it, that's, that's a, that's a big mistake. <laughs> that's a big mistake. Um, I, I feel like it's not difficult to look up if Kevin Porter Jr., who's currently in the league, is related to Kevin Porter, a former Washington Wizards player. And just the terms he chose to use during his commentary. And I'm not I'm not accusing him of, you know, being insensitive, but it, it looks like it's very insensitive to his situation, to his family. And we're not we're not by any means expecting anyone to be perfect, to be always right and always have the correct facts because we've seen it plenty of times from um many analysts, many reporters, and they make mistakes. But this one, um this one just is a little bit more a little bit more difficult to understand because of Kevin Porter Jr.'s father's situation. Um and I, I think that you just have to do a better job of make sure you do the research when it comes to people's families. Um, it's it's um, very insensitive. It comes off as very insensitive. And I, I, I'm not gonna say that he meant it to be that way or if he, or to be offensive, but just as from a professional standpoint, he failed at his job to do the research, do the work, figure out the facts of who is this player, is related to this player, and the and the terminology that he used is very, if not aimed at him, very coincidental about pulling a trigger. So I, I say you have to do a better job as a professional. That that is that's pretty unacceptable in my opinion. Yeah, uh, so some background on Wayne Consort. This is his bio. Okay. So if you look this up, go to his Twitter or whatever. This is what he has on there. He's an Emmy Award winning NBA analyst for the Wizards. Okay. Emmy, Emmy Award winning. So yeah, if you're an Emmy Award winner, that means you're pretty good at your job. That means you know what you should you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Right. So I have so you should we also have high expectations of an Emmy Award winner. Okay, that you know your job. And I agree with, with, with what you said, what LeBron said, and a lot of these other people. Uh, your job requires certain responsibilities, and a lot of that is to do pre-game research. If you do the proper pre-game research, you will know, hey, this is a different Kevin Porter Jr., <laughs> you know, that's, if you did your proper research, then it'll be fine. But we all lack on the job sometimes, we make mistakes. The thing is, what makes this egregious is that this directly impacted and possibly offended someone. That's the difference here. So I think he did the right thing to maybe apologize and to reach out to personally apologize. I think that's great. I don't think he should lose his job or anything like that. I don't think it warrants that. But I think it does warrant a discussion maybe to make sure that, you know, it's all like equal, I guess, because the hint, because if he if doesn't step ahead of this, it could be really ugly. It has potential to turn really ugly because some people can apply 
hey, this is kind of racist as well. And all black people are, you know, you know, it's just, it's, it has potential to be really ugly. And I'm glad that he apologized. And I don't think the NBA in particular put out a statement. I guess because it's like, they don't really have to, I guess. I don't know. I just wish that something, Something gotta be done. It'll help to it'll help once maybe if Kevin Porter himself gives a statement. Because he hasn't he hasn't given a statement yet. And it sucks for him because he just made like a crazy game winner. And the story is about this announcer. Just stole the show. So that's that sucks. But uh I think he did the right thing to apologize. It's just it's tough. And I expect better from the Emmy Award winning NBA analyst, as it says on his bio. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I, I don't know his intent. I can't say, you know, he, he meant to be malicious in that comment, but it just it just comes off as insensitive. And it does, it does. as a community, as, as a black man, as a basketball fan, that that <sighs> I feel like that won't sit well with, I mean, Kevin Porter Jr. very well may not even acknowledge this at all, but to the next, you know, black man that you got got accused of something and went to jail or somebody who has a family member in jail that's black or or anybody, anybody that's, you know, been in the, on the wrong side of the law, anything like that, it just comes off Mm-hmm. very suspicious in this case and I, I, I I'm not like I said I don't know this person and based on his accolades and 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 history during his job he seems like he has done well I don't right. wish him any harm I don't wish him to lose his job or anything but I, I feel like that's journalism one-on-one you want to be factual <laughs> in whatever you report or say because you are now a public voice a public figure in some ways yeah and also i forget that he's been in the industry for more than 20 years now so you definitely know what you need to be doing (laughs) at this point there's there's Uh, no excuse for that no no excuse uh we make mistakes but that's that's a pretty pretty big mistake in my opinion like it, it is and i think okay yeah it was a crazy shot you probably weren't expecting that because remember it's his team that just lost you know so he's he's uh i don't know i can't I'm, i don't know i can't get into his mindset because i don't know his mindset either but i think it is a good look that he apologized but it could have he could have chose not to and that would have been another issue but he chose to apologize give him credit for that uh i also say this it's just so bad because it's what he said and it's just I don't know if it's more coincidental than anything, but to use the word, you know, trigger, shoot and trigger like his dad is so coincidental. And I wonder if he didn't say that, would it be as bad? But I don't know. It's it's it's, it's crazy. Yeah, it's a crazy incident. I never heard anything like this before. It's crazy. Yeah, that's why it's just. Uh, but the closest one, I just thought of it. The closest one. The only reason I know this is because I'm a fan of the Thunder. And the, the Thunder broadcaster made a terrible comment. He said, Westbrook is losing his cotton pick in mind. And he, oh, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. So that's the only one I've heard that was like, way, like, you know, that's on that tier of like, ooh way out there for a commentator who's been working for a long time. And that dude's been working as commentator for Thunder for the longest. And yeah, so he's gone. I don't know why he used that word. I don't know. It's, oh, man. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. But, I, I'll, I, but I agree with you. I don't think she was a job. Just something got to be done. I don't know. It sucks. I, I think... Um... It's, it's it's part of me is like that really is that that rubs me the wrong way but, it's tough because these are white males as well of course that's a white male that made a comment for the thunder and this is a I believe this guy is israeli but still it's not like you know 
I mean, yeah. the guy who uh, made a comment about Kevin Porter, I think he's he's, he's Israeli American, but I don't know. But yeah, I mean, regardless of race, color, origin, any of that, I, I think it, it just is a matter of professionalism. Definitely. And he made he made an uh, an error on that side. Regardless, um, I can't say that it's it was intentional racism or you know trying to stereotype or anything like that. But I can see how people would take it that way, and I don't want anyone to, you know, feel unvalidated and that feeling because we experience it all the time and in daily life. You know what I mean? So it's just it's nothing new. But for it to come from the NBA and I don't know, just a a professional analyst, <laughs> it's, it's like. That's very coincidental that you chose the word shoot and trigger when it comes to this player's father, who is not an NBA player, who had this, you know, situation. <laughs> um, but like I said, I, I can't say what his intention was. And I'm, I'm trying to be as fair as possible with it because it's, it just yeah. it's egregious, but he apologized, so maybe he became aware of it. And he was, and he wasn't aware of it, and now he is trying to rectify his mistake. All right, all right, all right. Regardless, everyone, with whatever you do, whether you're an analyst, whether you're a teacher, whatever you do, <laughs> be sure to be professional and make sure you do your research. Get the yeah. Regardless, <laughs> yeah, I don't see him proud for this. He's he owned it. He owned up to it to your mistake because we all make mistakes in our jobs and our careers as human beings. He owned up to it. He took the responsibility for it. And if there are any consequences, I'm sure he'll set them as well. So I give him props for that, you know. And we're trying to be fair to him, and we're trying to be fair to all parties. But ultimately, this is between him and Kevin Porter Jr. So. Yeah. Hopefully they do have that personal conversation and, you know, hopefully it's all love. But again, but shout out to Kevin Porter for making that buzzer beater, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. Awesome Crazy shot. shot. Crazy shot. Awesome Kevin shot. Porter Jr. Let me just say this. Kevin Porter Jr. is special. <laughs>